Hello you guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to day five of Confessions of a Paper Addict 20 Days of Christmas Cut Files. I'm going to be playing with Vicki Booten's Evergreen and Holly. I got this as a scrap room kit for this month. It's in the flavors of the month kit. Um, I've got some pictures of my little man licking the batter off the paddle of my mixer and I have this official cookie tester cut file new release this month um yeah super excited about it is this uh yep just a new release so I think already I'm gravitating towards this beautiful pattern paper and the beautiful green cardstock that has come in this kit. So when you get a Flavors of the Month kit, you get three pattern papers, two cardstocks that coordinate, and a handful of embellishments from each of the collections. So you get like little mini um, kits of four different collections every month, especially when you um, subscribe to the flavors of the month. There's also double shot and add-ons and all this other fun stuff that you can get. But for sure, the flavors of the month kit are the main kit, um, that the scrap room has to offer. And so this is just one of the four. I've played with the other three, um, in days two through three, uh, do two through four. So if you want to check those out, make sure you check those out. The list will be down below of everybody who is playing along today with the prompt, which is circles. So that is why I chose this cut file because it is a giant circle. Um, yeah, so that is the plan. I would like to, like I said, do it on this cart or this pattern paper. And I'm looking at also into maybe using this lovely stencil I have from Scrapping Reflections um, behind that. But I don't know for sure what I would use so that it would stand out on here, except for maybe embossing powder. So I gotta think about that a little bit because I'm not so sure about that. But for sure I know I want to take this green card sock and back my cut file and then get the letters put down on here. So I'm gonna work on that for now. I'm gonna get his little hands backed in white. I'm gonna trim down my photos. I'm gonna look through my ephemera, which looks like I got some goodies. I got a washi tape um, and we'll see what else we can come up with. I'm using the cut file to place down my letters. Um, properly where they belong. I'm making sure that I get them nestled in their spot so they fit nice and curve nice around the cut file. Um, otherwise, I have got this uh, one of the green card stocks so that I had um, the center and then I uh, backed my cut file with the center. And then I uh, left, used blah, 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 the outside for, and I trimmed off a half inch out uh, of two sides of my pattern paper so that I had a nice little green border that matched my little inner ring. Having a time, let me tell you. Having a time. All right, I'll be back. All right, I have put my letters down. I have added Nouveau to the face and the buttons of the cookie. And you're thinking, Jackie, you still have to glue it down. I know, I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna work on the stencil part and I'm gonna try and get that figured out. Cause I know my stencil. So it's basically just these outer parts that we will see, which is fine. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about embossing and doing just like a clear glitter or something 
just to have something there, if that makes sense. Um, so now I gotta figure out how I want to fill that with ink. And I think I'm gonna use a blending brush. Because I have this one that is just like a shimmer. Hologram Highlights. It's from Stampin' Up. Super old. Oh, well. My pad came off. Didn't stamp mark it. Okay, well. We're gonna do this then. <laughs> I'm gonna grab, where's my tweezers? <laughs> it's getting through where I want it to get through. And that was the point, so. And if it embosses a little more, that's okay. I just don't want it to emboss parts that we don't, like, parts of the paper I don't want embossed. But so far, it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Gave me the effect I was hoping for. Not as prominent as I thought it would, but it gave me a ring of glitter in, like, a pattern. So, yay. It worked. I also have glitter everywhere. Pretty sure it's in my eye. Um, but that part is done. I still have to wait for this Nouveau to dry, which I'm fine with that. That That is okay. Um, I'm going to trim down my photos and kind of figure out what else I have to play with. We have a title. We don't have to worry about that. It's just arranging the photos and getting that all figured out. We'll probably be popping these up on foam as well. Um, so yeah, so we'll let this dry. We'll start working with other things and then we will back, be back to finish this page. Okay, you guys, everything is completely dry. I took this Vicky Booten paper out of the collection. There was this beautiful holly. I took it and I fussy cut it. I was thinking about tucking it in somewhere. But I can't figure out where. I can't figure out where would be the best place that it wouldn't block things that I feel like are important. I kind of want it to like fill this space right here, which I could actually probably have it do. I've got it all glued down. Let me see if I can tuck that under. Ooh, 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 there we go. <gasps> I might have done that. Okay. Just to fill that space up because otherwise it just looked kind of weird. Ooh, I like that. Okay, okay. We're going to glue that down. And then another piece under that leaf. Nobody said your title has to be like in your face. No, it doesn't have to be. It can be kind of inconspicuous. <laughs> okay, hold down. While that sets, we're gonna look through the ephemera bits. So we had the three pattern papers we got in the kit, the two cardstocks. I used one cardstock, one pattern paper, technically two, because I cut the other one up. <clears throat> what did we get for embellishments? And um, for the kit, you're going to get a mixture of icon and a journaling ephemera, and that's all going to vary. And then there's a washi tape, and I think there's like five or six in the collection, so the, the washi tape you get is also going to vary. So I got this present washi tape, which is super cute. We've got a snowman. I've got three tags. Wonder Holiday Magic. Uh, North Pole Express First Class. I got a frame. I got a tag. I got a giant poinsettia. I got an ornament. A bow. Ooh, this would be cute somewhere. Um, and then on the agenda, this is a nice big journaling spot. And making plans. So we'll see what I can sprinkle around. And do you know what? Let's check the embellishment add-on and see what I got in it. For the embellishment add-on for Vicky Booten, 
I got the sticker sheet. So we might sprinkle some of those gold elements or the black ones around. That would be cute. We don't need a lot though, because this is adorable already. I was, I was like, I'm going to put a snowman over there. There's already a gingerbread man, so I don't need to do that. This bow would be really cute, like right down here. Or if I put the poinsettia. I don't want to do much to, else to it because it kind of like, I don't know. It looks pretty good. But we could... Definitely sprinkle. Yeah, I think we'll add this bow. And then should we sprinkle some of these gold things around? Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I think my cut file is doing all the work for me and I don't need to add anything else. I'm just going to glue down that bow and I'm calling it quits because I think that's adorable. The official cookie taster is done. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you, and we'll see you next time. Bye.